Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to enter opening balances for accounts. Okay, so when you start using QuickBooks, uh, you, you know, if you've been in business for a little bit, or let's say maybe you're switching from a different software to another software, or even if you've been keeping track of things in like Excel, uh, and you now are starting to use QuickBooks, okay, you're going to have opening balances in your accounts so specifically your checking accounts it could be um you know accounts receivable fixed assets whatever it is you may have some opening balances in these accounts and so what i mean by opening balances is you you know let's say you've been in business and you've got you know five thousand dollars in your business checking account you go to start quickbooks well you have to somehow record that five thousand dollars in your checking account okay so i'm going to show you uh the easiest way to do that and then uh, i'll show you a couple different ways to do that but then also talk about um you know what the result of that is and what that looks like okay so the first thing you want to do so you've got quickbooks uh, let's say set up here this is a sample company file and you want to go to your chart of accounts okay so this is going to be a business checking account that we're going to set up here so i can show you how to enter that opening balance all right so these accounts obviously these already have some things in here but we need to put in here a specific checking account uh, that we're going to set up okay so you can right click on here or you can go down to account and you're going to click on new okay all right so we're going to set up a bank account okay so you click on bank you hit continue and it's going to go through all this we're going to skip the number but we're going to say that this is uh bbnt checking okay all right so we've got bbnt checking right now what we could do if we weren't going to enter an opening balance you can hit save and close all right now but let's say that this balance is you know fifteen hundred dollars and we want to go ahead and put that in quickbooks all right so we're going to say enter opening balance all right, so what you have to do here, it says enter the ending date and balance from the last bank statement you received before your QuickBooks start date. All right, so your QuickBooks start date is when you start using QuickBooks, okay? When you specify in the setup that this is gonna be the start date, uh, you know, for your QuickBooks file. Okay, and it says, attention, if this account did not have a balance before your QuickBooks start date, click cancel and use a transaction to put money in this account. Okay, and then there's a link here for some example transactions. Okay, so let's say that this was uh, 12 31 uh, 20. So just at the end of last year. Oops, I'm sorry, I put that in the wrong one. We'll say 12 31 20. And up here, we're going to say that the statement ending balance was $1,500. Okay, so then I'm going to hit OK. All right. Now you'll see here it shows you had $1,500 as of 12-31-2020. Okay. So we're going to hit save and close. Okay. Now you can set up your bank feed. Uh, right now we're not going to do that. But you'll see here now in the chart of accounts, we have the BB&T checking account for $1,500. Now I want to show you what that does. Okay. When you enter it, um, when you're setting up the account, uh, what that does to the balance sheet. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the balance sheet over here. Now, this is a December 15th, 2023. I'm going to change this to 12-31-20, which is the same date as that opening balance. Okay, so you're going to see here that we have BB&T checking. It shows our balance of $1,500. Then you're going to see this entry down here, opening balance equity. Okay, $1,500. So, in accounting, there always has to be this offset on a balance sheet. So there's got to be an asset. And there's got to be some corresponding equity or liability. Okay, so it balances. And in this case, what QuickBooks assumes is that this is equity that you're putting in the business. So equity means that it is maybe a, you know, a personal asset that you put into the business. You contribute this money to the business. Okay. Now that may or may not be the case in this situation, but I did want to make you aware that it does put that here. Now that can be a little bit problematic, um, especially if you have already been in business because this was a business asset that you are now putting into the business or putting into QuickBooks, I should say, but you're not actually putting money into the business. Okay. But this is 
a basic way to put money uh, to show these opening balances when you set up these accounts when you're first starting off with QuickBooks. And then from here, you know, there are ways to move it out of opening balance equity. And this gets, you know, way deeper than we're going to get in this video because it has to do with recording that ending balance sheet as of December 31st, 2020. Okay. And we, I have other videos on that and, and how to set up your books when you're first starting and you've already been in business. Okay. But this is the most basic way. Now I do want to show you one other way. Okay. So let's say that we set up um, a new account. I'm going to call this, we'll call this a bank account and we'll say continue. And I'm going to call this BBNT savings. Okay. Now, this time, I'm not entering an opening balance. I'm just going to hit save and close. Okay. Now, you'll see here, there is no balance. Okay. But what you can do, if you double click on this, it takes you to the check register for this account. So you can, as an alternative, you can enter a transaction in here. We'll say this transaction number, we're going to say this is a deposit. I'm going to put DEP for deposit. There's no payee, and we're going to say that this is $1,000, okay? Now, you do have to specify what account this is from, okay? So if you're just saying this is coming from the old business, you know, a default way, you don't want to put it as income, a default place to put this so that you can recategorize it later is to opening balance equity, okay? So this is just an alternative way uh, to enter a beginning balance. If I say record, okay? So again, you can put in a beginning balance when you first set up the account in your chart of accounts, uh, or you can go directly to the check register uh, to enter that beginning balance, okay? So now let's say one other thing. I just want to show you what this looks like. Uh, let's say that uh, we have these accounts set up and we forgot to put in a beginning balance, okay? So we go to our savings account here that's already set up. You can right click this and click edit, okay? And you can say change opening balance. Okay, so if I click on here, it's gonna take you straight to the check register. And there you can go in and put in a beginning balance. So if you, you know, if you started your QuickBooks file, you forgot to put in that ending balance, you know, from your Excel spreadsheet or your other program, and you start operating, you're entering transactions, and you say, oh, I got to go back, and I need to enter that beginning balance for the savings account. Uh, when you do this, it'll take you straight to the register, okay? And at that point, you can put in the deposit amount or that beginning balance, okay? Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Uh, also, check out the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org.